Hi dreamers and make believers. In today's video, I'm doing my writing journey number eight. So this is just to fill you in on everything that's been going on in the Water Rushes world, in the Ashes of Legends world, and in the writing world, me so far, so far. Um, and yeah, just how that's all going with the marketing and the planning and all that good gooey stuff. So, as most of you know, Swept Away, the third book in the Water Rushes series, released earlier this month on August 1st. It was a very exciting, very fun release, and it got a lot of sales in that release week. Now things have slowed down a bit, but it's still selling pretty steadily at like 5 to 10 a day, which is not bad. And the first couple of books are selling more as well, because obviously now people are like, what's Swept Away? Because they haven't heard of uh, Water's Edge. So it all comes down to, again, just like spreading the word and marketing and all that stuff. So I recently actually um, got 18 marketing books it was like a package course package of book things to give you like all these tips on like how to sell ebooks how to sell paperbacks how to define your target audience how to connect with your target audience and all these like little uh, tips I think I'm alright with my target audience that was something I defined a long time ago like whilst writing at Water's Edge because I realized like obviously to know what I'm writing and what's appropriate and what's not appropriate and what suits and what doesn't suit you have to know your target audience so I kind of figured that one out before but it has helped over the years to like define it and fine-tune it and it's always good to keep refreshing knowledge on stuff that's happening in the marketplace so I got 18 books on stuff for that so that's hopefully gonna help um, me on spreading the news and getting the word out and I've also um, decided to revamp, I can't remember if I mentioned this before, but I've decided to revamp my website, which is www.smpersonbooks.com. So right now, I mean, I like how it looks, it's got like quizzes on it, and it's got my blog on it, and it's got my books on it, and trailers and stuff like that. It's pretty fun and exciting, but I feel like it needs like a visual makeover, and I'm also thinking of new logo ideas. So I recently did a poll and asked people to like vote on a style for the logo, and I also asked people on Instagram if they had any suggestions, and this one girl, Ife D'Souza, came up with a fantastic idea. So what F.A. said is, maybe something like a spinning compass. I was just thinking, since your greeting is fellow dreamers and make-believers, and the compass kind of signifies a journey or quest, you could use it as the base, then have a golden arrow for the magical aspect, and maybe a star or fairy wings in the center, showing how magic and make-believe is the center of your focus. And I just fell in love with that idea, because it is exactly what I want, and it does feel so right and just fits so perfectly. So thank you so much, F.A., for that idea. But also, um, what I was thinking, somebody else, also said later on this girl called Anora and what Anora said was that she likes the whole compass idea that Ife suggested especially because it made her think about the get the drops from the water rushes series and that's exactly what happened with me like when Ife said the compass I was like that is brilliant because if you haven't read the water rushes series there is a device called the Gethamot and the get the drops which guides you to magical portals and then also in the other series that I'm working on there is an actual compass the compass isn't like a main important thing but there is throughout the series going to be pirate which I'm so excited to write and yeah pirates have compasses so it just works so well and the wings and everything so I'm loving this idea so I think that I'm gonna go with that so now I just need to find a designer to make the logo and then I can get that on the site and then I can start thinking about how to revamp the site as well and if anyone out there knows how to design a website or redesign a website or if you know how to design a logo and you want to take a crack at it then please get in touch with me because I would love all the help and support that I can get in this revamp relaunch thing that I am doing with the site. Also in the Water Rushes world, there is the novella coming out later this year. I'm thinking it's going to come out um, October, November time. It's called Once Upon a Tide. I've mentioned it before. It is the novella showing the history of the world. But you have to read book three first to understand why this history is important. So it's book 3.5. So there's that, and I'm also halfway through the fourth book in the series, and I can't wait to reveal the title of that one to you. But one thing at a time, just done swept away, gonna do Once Upon a Tide, and then I will reveal the title for book four. But I'm really, really enjoying writing it, and the characters, and exploring the world a bit more, and expanding the world, and um, getting to know the characters a bit better, and evolving the characters a bit more now as they grow older. So I'm having lots of fun writing book four in the Water Rushes series, and that will hopefully be released early next year. I'm thinking March, latest. And then in other news for my other series, that is called Ashes of Legends. So in the Ashes of Legends series, I have now finished draft one of the first book. The first one is called Ashes of Legends, A Gypsy Tale, which I've mentioned before. It's a story of gypsies and soldiers and past lives, and basically this girl ends up running away with the gypsies to get away from a crime that was committed, and the soldiers are after her, but it turns out that one of the soldiers is someone she knows from another life, and you know, they're cursed to meet and 
and fall in love and fall into despair over and over again because something keeps them apart. And so book one kind of goes through all these things in the story and then it leads to the next story where there will be pirates! <laughs> so I'm currently working on the second draft of that one. I'm hoping to finish it in a couple of weeks and then that whole process will start and I'll be releasing Ashes of Legends also early 2018. So there's lots of things in the works that I'm so excited about and I can't wait for you guys to read. And as always, thank you for being on this journey with me. And if you have any questions or if there's any advice that you want to give, I am all ears and all mouth. So happy to <laughs> answer your questions. And yes, that is all for today. Until next time, I'll see you. Bye.